Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Poppy Style. Today I've got the four remaining, I believe, Armani code scents that they're selling on the Armani site. I think the rest have been discontinued to some degree anyways. And then, hit that subscribe button if you want to see it, but my next video is the brand new Armani Code Parfum. But, I wanted to branch out here, I wanted to see what the originals, what the others were like before I try the brand new one, see how that compares. So, we're going to try these out. I've got Eau de Toilette, the original, the classic. I've got the Eau de Parfum, which we'll get into. Eau de Parfum, what, a year later they come out with this one? Are we? the Absolute, and the Perfumo. Okay, we're gonna get into all of them. Thoughts on them. How they perform, how they last, what, what I think of them, etc., etc. Let's try Armani Code first. Um, how do they describe Armani Code? It's mysterious and seductive. Now this one is ambery woody with olive flower, tonka bean, and I think guayac wood? Guayac wood? I don't know how to say that. Uh, but this is, it's a classic, this is the bottle, it's this, like, I don't know, is, is it kind of hourglassy, sort of, got the concave sides there, right? Um, it's nice, it's fun to hold, it's just, it's a nice product. And that's part of why it's a top seller, right? And it smells great. Um, I, I like to say this works amazingly in cold weather, but the reality is you can still wear it in warmer weather. It, it smells just comforting. That's I was trying to think of the way I would describe Armani Coat. It's comforting. It's kind of sexy and it's comforting. And what you're going to notice through all four of these is that they all have tonka bean. That is the that is the definition of Armani Coat. It's that tonka bean that lasts throughout, right? So this one, it's got the woodiness on the bottom, right? Uh, it's a little flowery on top. You, you smell that. It's a little, you know, a little sweet, little flowery there. But it's got that nice tonka bean. Love it. This was actually the second scent I ever owned back in 2008. <laughs> Fun fact. This is actually a new bottle. It's not the same bottle. But I do have that. I do have that too. <laughs> so I love this one. Um, it lasts about, I want to say about four hours on my skin. None of these are crazy performers. Well, maybe one of them. It lasts about four hours. Projection, it's, it's decent enough, especially if you're wearing it in warmer weather. Um, don't go overboard on it, but yeah, it's, it's good. Armonica, love it. So let's talk about the others. Why do there need to be others? Well, let's see. Uh, next up here, we've got the one I believe they released last year. It's the Eau de Parfum. And this one was supposed to be a more concentrated, stronger, bolder take on Armani Code. Um, again, it's, they describe it as ambery woody, but it's like a three strength on their little scale out of four. And it's got tonka bean, but it's got cedar wood, and it's got lavender. So, again, same style bottle, just different cap, different phrasing. The Eau de Parfum on the bottom. Sorry if I'm saying that weird. Someone chewed me out for saying it like an American might. I was saying Parfum. I, you know, someone's like, are you serious? No, you say it like Parfum. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was a Monica. cut. Let's get a fresh one here. I've been wearing these all week, testing them out, trying to give you the best opinion on them that I could. And instantly, it's different. It's similar, but it's different. That tonka bean that you love is there, but instead of the flower on top, that lavender. Um, I don't know if you've ever smelled Prada Amber Porum. There's some strong lavender in that. And this reminds me if I put some of that into this. It's soapy, right? Um, and then the cedar wood on the bottom. Makes it similar, but different enough. So it's the familiar Armani code, but different. Now I know the whole Eau de Parfum thing means you'd think it lasts longer, higher concentration of oils or whatever. I find similar performance. It's four hours and the stuff's gone. But it's nice and it's different. 
it's different. What I'm really going to be curious about is how this is different from the new one. We'll see. Quite honestly, between this and the original, this is nice, and if you have it and like it, great, but I'm going to go with the original, personally. Then we come to these other two. Absolute. Comes in this gold bottle. Again, same bottle, same style. It's a little extra looking. It's a little bit. And this one, it's supposed to be the same kind of strength as the Eau de Parfum. And this one's ambery warm. And the difference with this, they say this is sensual and rich. Oh, and I'm sorry, they said the Eau de Parfum was effortless and magnetic. Whatever the hell that means. But this one is sensual and rich. It's got the tonka bean, but it's got a rum accord, myrrh, and vanilla. Let's give it a shot. This is actually what I wore today at work. So, very sweet. Much sweeter than the other two. And that makes sense. It's got the vanilla, it's got the rum accord, it's got that myrrh. It's, at its heart, it's still Armani code. Again, it's got the tonka bean. But it's so sweet. It's very potent. Um, this one actually, I'm not going to say it lasted me, you know, nine hours, ten hours, whatever it's been. It's been at least ten hours. I can still smell it on me, but I don't think it was super strong. But this one performs like the other two don't. That said, out of the three we've smelled so far, it's my least favorite. I don't like that sweetness. Maybe it's for you. But it's not what I'm looking for from Armani Code. I love the other two, especially the original. It's so sweet on top. You know, that strong kind of rum scent that's there. It's just, it's sweet. And that really overpowers. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. And last, not least, is at least, let's find out. We've got the Armani Code Profumo. Now, you may be thinking, if you've watched any of this stuff, if you're into fragrance at all, oh, I know Aqua de Jo Profumo. That's the best one. This is going to be the best Armani Code, right? Let's see. Let's see. So, again, similar styling. Kind of cool. Nice brown cap. Brown gradient bottle. This one, same strength, and they say this is ambery leather. Intense and vibrant. And this one has, I don't know if it's Styrax or Styrix. That's the top note of this thing. And then there's Tonka Bean and a leather, leather note to the bottom. To the base. Base notes, if you will. This one is different. This one, when you first smell it, that Styrax, Styrax, whatever the hell it is, it's a flower. I looked in there. It's a sweet flower. And that must be what this is because it hits you so hard. It's so intense. They're not kidding. But it overwhelms everything else. It's super potent. It projects like hell. And this lasts with you all freaking day. I regretted putting this on it right before. I put it on during lunch the other day because the other one wore off. And I regretted it. I should have washed it off, but I wanted to see how it performed for you guys. I had to deal with so many people that day. I had to spend time in the CEO's office. And I'm just thinking, if we end up with a no fragrance policy, I caused it wearing this shit. <laughs> Power to you if this works for you. But while it's still got that Tonka bean in there, it's so overwhelmed with everything else. Yeah, the leather's there if you're really looking for it. But God, you got to get past that it's sweetness on top, this really bold, potent sweetness. And it never dies down. That is the strong note for the entire time. I can't recommend this. I hate this one. Maybe it's for you. I'll be looking to probably unload this bottle at some point. I don't ever want to smell like that again. But that's the four main Armani codes that they're still selling other than the new one. So let me know in the comments what your favorite is. I've got some others. I've got Colonia. I've got Sport. Uh, I've got a sample of Sport. I got Summer. 
I've got absolute gold. There's so many Armani cards. Maybe we'll do a tier list or something. I still owe a tier list on Aqua de Joe. So, like I said, please, I I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Style. If you want to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm about to let my senses clear up a bit here and then smell this brand new one. So, that's coming up, too, if you want to see it. Would mean the world to me if you guys watched. Do you, do you like, what's your favorite? Do you like any of these? Let me know. Let me know. Do you like this Perfumo one? What, what am I missing? I hate it. I cannot stand it. Well, that's the fun of these. I can love one thing and you can love another. Um, as I've learned, when someone bought something I liked and hated it, and I'm like, sorry? Like, I don't know. Good stuff. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, like I said, hit that like button if you liked the video. Leave me a comment. I appreciate you. You take care.